Hi, my name is Claudine Lewis. I'm a respiratory therapy student, and I'm going to go over some vent initiation with you guys. Um, so let's say, let's say it's my dad. What the heck? Um, 73-year-old guy who's um, admitted for um, pneumonia, and he gets worse in the hospital. Um, he's really tachypnic, and he's using accessory muscles, and he's obviously really air hungry and struggling. Um, ABGs are crap. <laughs> He's just not doing well. Um, and my dad's not quite that short. So let's say his, let's, let's say the doctor has decided to intubate him. So we're gonna go to ICU, start setting up our vent so it's ready to go. Um, let's say, yeah, probably. My dad should probably weigh about 75 kilograms. Okay, let's go 72. So, two, stop. All right, let's go. Really? So I'm not hooked up to a patient. And it will not let me change modes until I actually start something. So, um... No problem with lung. So, O2. Um, if I know what O2 they were on, um, say they were on a Venturi at 40, eh, let's go 40%. Uh, we'll start there. Otherwise, I would start at 100 and go down. Uh, I really like the I times one second. It just makes easy math. So frequency of 14. Um, Peak respiratory pressure 20. Um, that'll work. I hate the beeping. It makes me mad. So 40% were on pressure control. I think I said volume earlier. I did not mean to. Um, because it is an acute lung issue. We have pneumonia. We have increased um, resistance and probably decreased compliance because we probably have a bunch of ooey gooey com consolidation. Nastiness happening in there. Um, let's look at our alarms. Peak airway pressure 40. High minute ventilation of 10. We're doing 7. That'll work. Um, at me a time. Protocol here is 15. I'm trying to get in that habit. Um, if that may change, I don't know. Okay, that'll work. If I work somewhere else, um, gives me an IE ratio of one to three. Uh, okay, three to 14. That'll work nicely. Um, so, Different settings, additional settings. Trigger is on two. That would work um, unless I just really want to make it easy and then I could go one. And go all the way 2.3. I was just curious. I'm going to make it easy. Two. Perfect. So that would cover all my settings. Um, fantastic. Um, it's a lot easier to have, hold on, I don't know if I can do a pressure trigger. I just want to know. Okay, perfect. Alrighty, um, so that would be a good place to start. Um, once Every time. Once the patient is intubated and kind of settled down and the nurses are done, uh, good stuff. And see, you can have all your settings set up before you, you know, actually intubate and just put it on standby. And then you're, as soon as you hook it up, um, go ahead and hit that button. So document everything. Document which mode you're in, which settings you're on, what the patient is actually doing, if, how much they're doing over what you're doing. Like if they're doing a whole lot of spontaneous breaths over
if they're fighting the vent um, or if it's um, auto triggering and stacking breaths, which it's it feels like it's doing that a little bit because I set that so low. So, um, I like to start at the patient. Um, some people start at the vent. Like, if your patient's resting quietly, then, you know, you can probably do all the, the stuff at the vent before you wake them up, and it's like 4 in the morning. Um, draw an ABG, see where you're at, um, which they may have already had a baseline ABG before they were intubated, which might be why they're coming to the ICU with pneumonia to be intubated. Um, what else? Uh, document everything, modes, all that good stuff. Listen for any kind of leakage around the cuff. Listen um, lung sounds. Holy crap, I'm getting a huge title line in the vent. Hmm. Okay, looks like shark fins almost. Um, I always lose my train of thought because it beeps. Um, document everything. Um, check your cuff pressure. That's part of our vent checks here. Um, every four hours, so that's like three times a day. Um, I have a leaky ET. Okay, now I got 26 that time. Um, document where the ET tube is. They also like to move it. Um, we have a nice thing that you squeeze and slide. So like if you start your shift and it's over here, you do your oral cares, move it over to your oral cares and leave it over here, go to the middle. Um, nursing mostly does the respiratory, uh, the oral cares here. Um, Document all the breathings, um, document if you suction, if you give breathing treatments, muco mist, um, lavaging, anything you do that, w that would possibly change anything so that you know what, what may be the cause of improvement or even um, decline. Um, heart rate, blood pressure, um, all that kind of good stuff. I think that's everything I can think of. Thank y'all.